Okay, today I just want to make a video on um, these We Are VTRs. Now, the We Are VTR, if you see my uh, last video on the GameCube NR Reader, is similar to the NR Reader, but this is essentially the Wii version of the NR Reader. This plays um, We Are VTR disc, and that's it. It won't play retail games. So this is what they look like. Look like regular Wii's but the green base plate. And then there's actually in this pile we are, may not be able to tell that there's actually two different types of Wii RVTRs here. And I'm not talking about how this one's just missing this little piece. What <clears throat> I'm talking about is you got your let's see, you got your wireless RVTR readers. This will just use your regular standard um, Wii remotes. And then you got your wired RVTR readers which have these little ports which are for the wired remotes. These won't use the wireless. And then I have another. I'm going to here. I got two of the wired ones. <coughs> and the wired Wii remotes look like this. Look like regular Wii remotes. But they have these cords. It looks like a little tiny coaxial. And that is what it uses to transmit the data. Now you'd think it uses a cable, then it wouldn't need batteries, but nope. Still need to put in batteries into these things. Still, it's pretty much exactly the same. You just have to have this wire hooked into the Wii. Still got to sync it and everything, like with the sync button on the front and the sync button sync button underneath the battery cover other than that it's quite similar now two of these Wii's don't have when you turn them on they just go to a developer menu which is just like a black screen and some white text and you can do a couple things not much and it's this one right here without the cover this has the Wii menu installed you have to install the Wii menu onto it with a special file which I guess was burnt on a disc like this, a Wii RVTR disc. But um, I don't have that so I can't install it onto the other two unfortunately. I think if I got the file though I could probably create it and you don't want to know why. If you haven't noticed, okay first of all, you got a whole spindle. Let's see if I get. <clears throat> Let's see. Can't do this. Can't get him out. <laughs> okay, you're gonna stick. There you go. Got a whole spindle of. Let's see. Of these we are um, blank we are VTR disc. I have uh, 51 of them. This is a spindle of 50 and I got this extra loose in right here. Here's like their box right here. I usually it's supposed to come with two spindles, I only have one. This is what the box looks like that they came in. Pretty plain. Top it just says fragile handle of care. And these discs could be pretty much useless. Let me just fix this real quick. If I didn't have the burners, which I also have have two of them I'll do this later in a minute have two of these these look like regular burners but they are RVTR writers they are pretty large just for comparison let me put this we on it that's how big the burner is and they're pretty heavy so let's take a closer look at one of them <coughs> So here it is. Looks like a standard burner is pretty large. Let's see if I could flip it. Let's see, there it is. RUTR Rider Nintendo. You can't even see the serial number. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. There's the other one with this Nintendo sticker on it. Ugh. Let's flip it around to the back. This has a fan port, 
a power port AC 100 volt to 230 volt and a USB port so you can just hook it up to the computer real quick so yeah uh, let's see if I can put that back those things are heavy to hold around with one hand so yeah this is uh, pretty cool unfortunately I have 51 blank discs but no discs that actually have any files on them so I can't really show you anything that interesting however on the this one right here that has the menu installed it also has a uh, disc checker which is just for checking uh, the burnt disc if they have any problems I tried to see if it would work with their regular gain but it doesn't since these don't read regular Wii games unfortunately <coughs> Another cool thing you could do is you could change the video output settings, like if you want to output in PAL and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. So yeah, these things don't do too much unless you actually have anything to run on them. So they're just mostly just like pretty cool little paperweights, I guess you could say. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So this is like my weed development stuff. So I got. 50 spindle of 50 blank RVTR disc, extra disc, there's the box for this, two riders, and three RVTRs, which are pretty cool. Mm hmm. And the only thing I wish I had is there's a version of this, has a red front, doesn't have a disc drive, instead of a disc drive, it has a hard drive, and it's the RVTH. So instead of burning gains, <coughs> you would just have a USB, mini USB port like right in the front and you just hook it up to the computer, load gains up onto it that way. So I guess that could be better for if you just want to make changes real quick, just upload it to the hard drive. And I guess this would be better if you actually want to try it through disk, because I'm sure, optical disk, because I'm sure, um, could be some differences between running it on a hard drive and then running it on actual disc so yep there's this stuff pretty cool I actually have another one of these wired remotes but it's put away right now so yeah thanks for watching and see you next time